Halo, Demon Seal. This is something that um, I, I'm surprised a lot of people aren't looking into, especially people that have extra health. Blast 2 and Ultimate Blast Energy is, is half. So a Blast 2 move Kamehameha that normally uses 4 bars will use 2. Uh, something like uh. Videl's uh, Rush that uses 2 will only use 1, allowing them to spam it a lot. <laughs> it, this is an incredibly powerful ability because think of the people like Piccolo that have Light Grenade and love to use it. Or Yamcha that has Wolf Fang Fist. Yes, but you do lose a health bar. Yes, that's the downside. You lose an entire health bar. It, it, but see, you now here's the thing. This is something that I think people might want to test out in the preseason especially. You lose an extra health bar, but maybe you do a lot more damage. Maybe the trade-off is worth it. Or especially people like the Ginyu Force or the Saiyans who have Nappa and Raccoon who start off with five health bars and, and could really afford to lose the health. I'm just, right. just throwing that out there. Uh, it it'd be, is a good tactic. It, it's something to think about in, in at least the preseason. I know I'm going to try it on Yamcha in the preseason just to see, because Yamcha does love to use Wolf Fang Fist a lot. And, um, you know, if this Very helps true. him do it more, maybe the, the, the loss of health is worth it. Maybe it's a good trade-off. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, all right. We'll see. Style of the strong for the good, or Emperor's Aura for evil. Uh, max power mode lasts longer. Ultimate blast pack. Uh, uh, this is for the good. Okay, these are kind of like... Um, the good has a different advantage than the uh, evil. Both of them, your max power mode lasts longer. For good, your ultimate blast attack power is increased. For bad, your, or evil, you increase the power to stun the opponent. So make sure you know what if your character is good or evil before you pop this on them. Both of them, the mass power, max power lasts longer, but the other ones are different. Power body. Cannot be stunned easily by striking attack. Now, striking attacks are um, these, right here. Anything that's like a rush attack, smash attack, anything where you use physical force and not energy. Um, well, and of course not cutscene attacks because... So, not the energy, but any rush attack, any smash attack, all of that stuff, you aren't stunned by it. And watch, I'll show you this right here. Once Trunks starts hitting Zarbon, Zarbon's stunned. Look at him, he's flinching. He can't do anything right now unless he uses a special counter or something like that. With power, power body on, I would be hitting you and you would just walk through it. You could grab me, you could fire off a Kamehameha, you could do whatever you want because it would be like it wasn't hurting you. Uh, it still does the damage, but it doesn't stop you from doing anything. So Well, here, here's, also, here's also a good thing is that if you're trying to fire like a power attack and somebody tries to hit you, it kind of won't matter. Right. And and we've seen that so many times in this league that someone's about to fire off a huge blast and someone just bitch slaps them. I mean, how <laughs> many times has that happened? Power body. Power <laughs> body would make that, that, that bitch slap completely. It would just piss them off, basically, is all it would do. <laughs> True. It'd be like one of those oh, <laughs> no you didn't. So, um... Yeah, so it's definitely something to look at uh, because, and I think people are really under, underrating it because, yes, it lowers your defense by one, but it makes it so that you can just walk through their attacks, and that can be very devastating. Um, I mean, and can again, you just. That might be better. Uh huh. Might be ahead. better for someone with uh, extra health bars. Indeed. Because they could take more of that damage. Oh my god, you turn Napper into even more of an unstoppable machine, right? <laughs> oh dear god, we don't um, need two weapons of mass destruction. And here. Just, just imagine that your character goes up and starts unleashing a rush attack, and the whole time the other guy just sits back and charges up a Kamehameha. <laughs> You'll yes. be sitting there going, no, no, <laughs> no. This can only end. Poorly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then and of course, full of energy. And then we have uh, dragon homing plus two, vanishing attack plus two. These are both things that are uh, four points. Um, basically, you're talking about adding an extra four thousand points of damage every time you do that, and that's that's half a life bar, folks. That's adding half a life bar to every time you knock an opponent back and chase them. Uh, that's that's incredible, really, considering how often it's done. I mean, you'll see. 8, 9, 10 uh, dragon homings in a single team match. So. Very true. And we have one five point Patara. It is called the ultimate body. Cannot be stunned easily by energy blast. Cannot be stunned easily by striking attack. Same thing I talked about before, but instead of not stunning just from these, you'll also won't get stunned from these, these, any of those. 
Oh, well, I think it's... That also means... I think that's just energy blast. It says energy blast, so these. I don't know if it'll uh, help you on those, but I would think it would. Especially it being five well, points. Also, it, it's also worth pointing out, though, with those things that make you not be able to be stunned, uh, it would probably help if you're trying to charge up key and not get interrupted. Yes. I mean, we, uh, we've yeah. seen that so many times where someone's like, ah, and you're like, uh, he's coming. Ah, he's coming. Ah, he just slammed you. Good job. Way to not be observant <laughs> of your surroundings. You see what I'm saying? So that would help you <laughs> avoid that. <laughs> I mean, we've all seen that. It's like, okay, charging's good, but you should stop now. <laughs> you should start running you know away now. You know I know this has nothing to do with the ability, but I always love it when somebody, like, fires off, like, a power beam, and somebody's like, I'm going to charge right now. Oh, you know, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love this I one. Don't do that. I love this one where someone fires off a power beam, and they go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a cutscene attack. That'll work. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm Speed Racer. It'll work. <laughs> and... In our test match, DeBoer is like evil impulse of Bob, and he's like, "Wee wee, nice shot." Wait a second, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, I think that pretty that covers all the custom abilities. If you guys have any questions, leave comments. And God, one of these 18 million videos that I'm gonna have to upload because I'm gonna have to cut these in 15 minute segments. So, upload a comment here, oh, or man. or it might be easier to just upload a comment to the forums. Um, either way, but if you're a coach, if you're serious about participating in your team, you really should watch these because I saw a lot of people look at this list and go, that's way too much. I don't, I, I don't get this at all. And if Snowy can get this, who's never seen Dragon Ball Z and just started uh, hey. with Dragon Ball Z League, if she can understand how it works, I mean, you guys should be able to, to watch these videos and you should have a clear grasp on what will work <laughs> and what won't. And then, like I said, we'll have two preseason games um, for you guys to test out your, your builds. Uh, they won't count against the regular season, and in fact, what I think I'm going to do is the preseason games will be against your division, because the regular season games will you won't be facing your division. You'll be facing the 12 teams outside of your division, so um, that will work well because the preseason game won't give you any sort of hint on how you would do against other teams in the regular season. It'll just right. give you a hint on how well your build works in general. So um, that's it, folks. Like I said, if you have questions. Field them to me. We'll be happy to uh, to oblige you. If you have any requests, like, <laughs> hey, can you test now? I, I'm, when I say requests, I'm not saying, hey, can you test this on this person for me? That's what the preseason's for. I mean, hey, can you test Mirage Blast to see if it does this? That, put it in the uh, test request forms, and we'll try and get to them. All right, guys? All right, say bye. All right. The, the survivors. Bye, everybody. You, get, you two, you two <laughs> both bye. of you get a gold star because you survived. <laughs> Yay, I'm alive. Yay. All right, bye, everybody.